Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my experience as a NASA employee. So let's get right into it. So in this video, I'll be talking about my experience this past summer when I was 17. I did get my first internship at NASA when I was 16, but that was virtual. So I'll be going over my in-person experience this past summer. So for context, I got a job building a graphical user interface or a GUI that was a six week experience from nine to five at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt. It was about a 15 minute drive from my house. And I would work in an office, I would go in, I would sit next to my mentors, other colleagues. They're very nice people. NASA, it has been ranked the, the best place to work 10 years in a row in the federal government, deservedly so. Their workers, their employees are awesome. They're very intelligent and they're very willing to help you and communicate with you and give you advice and all that fun stuff. So my first week, that was really just me getting adjusted. Uh, I checked out uh, how to build a GUI. I had never built a GUI in my life. So I had to actually learn how to build a GUI. So I looked at options. I looked at Kinter, which was an inbuilt Python package. Uh, I actually created a mock GUI using Kinter. And I found out that it wasn't really optimal for what I was trying to do, which was display data in real time. So I had to, after the first week, I had to explore my other options. I eventually settled on PyQt, which is a very powerful GUI toolkit that would allow me to do what I wanted to do. So what did I actually do? So over the next few weeks, I worked on this GUI. I communicated with the TC, which is like a little micro controller. If you can imagine a Raspberry Pi, it's a TC similar to that. And I got data from two IMUs and I would display this data in the graphical user interface. In real time, it could display graphs, it could display just textual text data, telemetric data such as accelerometer data, robot orientation, all that fun stuff. So after about five, six weeks in, when I was winding down, the end result was it was a functional GUI. It displayed the graphs well. It showed the data well. It has some functional buttons that could always allow you to save all the graphs, uh, view the robot's orientation in 3D, but it wasn't fully complete. So I had to write documentation about how I built the GUI. I was split it into parts and all that fun stuff so that they could continue building the GUI or the GUI and for the future. So I actually can't talk about the the robot itself that I was working on. So that's that's confidential. I can't I can't discuss that. But overall, it was a great experience. I did have to write an write an abstract abstract as an intern. I also gave a final presentation in front of some colleagues and my mentors. And over my experience there, I did get to tour the campus. I got to see some buildings. I got to talk to some to tell some employees. They have some amazing buildings. They have some amazing amazing projects that they're working on. It's just a great place. So I learned a lot. I met a lot of people, a lot of good people, and I would definitely recommend applying to NASA, and working at NASA. It's a great experience. There is absolutely a, a reason why it was voted the best place to work. And to cap it all off, I received a free t-shirt for being an intern. So that was also a great gift from them. I appreciate that. And that was my experience. So I do have a video on how I actually got the job at NASA. I will probably make an updated one. So make sure to check that out. And if you enjoyed listening to me talk about my experience, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take it easy.